right, here it is. I have been rushing through the brainstorm quest line to get the AR as fast as possible. On the day of recording, I am on a time crunch. So I really wanted to get this weapon as quickly as I could. And I figured it would be natural to cover the new stuff in order of appearance. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, an update just went out this exact morning as of recording. You're going to be seeing this later on. But uh, yeah, there's a new weapon set. It's coming out slowly. We have four weapons right now. One tease. Uh, a few of them are all available. I think all four of these are available in Ventures. They're super, super interesting. And uh, we're going to be checking out the Assault Weapon today, the Pulse Pounder. So, in order of appearance means this is just the first weapon that's unlocked with the quest line. It's most likely the one that you guys are going to be having on your own. Then I would really like to cover the SMG. I think, Although I think it doesn't have a weapon class. Kind of interesting. We'll look into that later. And then, of course, the new hero, which freezes enemies with his decoy. I am not expecting much. Of course, I have to check it out. Of course. So I talked to Twitch chat link down below. I do all my videos on stream and I asked them, what do you guys want? Do you want like a fun 160s just checking this thing out in the end game or do you want a best perks? And the votes were pretty close. And I'm happy to say that because my best perks series hasn't gotten any new videos in a long time. And that's for obvious reasons. I really wanted to cover every weapon in the entire game, but I, a lot of them just weren't that interesting. And we finally finally have new weapons somebody in chat earlier asked this so i'm going to tell you guys on in the video here the last weapons we received were the art deco weapons and that was if you just <clears throat> check this out with me i think the first one i covered was the sod buster so let's just go back to the sod buster and check out when did beast release this video uh oh yeah two years ago uh, july of 2020 it has been <sighs> it has been two years and at least Four months. Uh, Archer said April, although I do not think I was that late to covering the Sodbuster. Even like the Floor Flusher. This is like how I know when weapons came out. I just checked when I made the video on it because I know it was right away. This was over two years ago that the last weapons came to save the world. So I am very, very excited about this. Let's hop into the weapon. Let's stop dilly-dallying and talk about what we got here. Obviously, I fluxed it right away. You cannot research these from the, from the collection book with the voucher, although you know I would have because I specifically save vouchers for this. People laugh at me. Oh, Beast, we're never going to get new weapons. And I'm like, hey, I'm not going to waste these just in case. And then we get new weapons and I can't use my vouchers. But here's what we got. So the Pulse Pounder shoots slower when it's hip fire. And then it, when you aim in, it's more accurate, I think. And then it shoots slower. Uh, I'm going to remove my overlay a bit just so we can see the stats here. It does extremely high damage per shot. Super low fire rate. Although I do believe this is the zoomed in fire rate. The math on this weapon is not impressive so far. But I don't think damage per second is going to be a, a big story for this weapon because of the six perks, which we'll talk about in a second. You have 16 shots, which is super low. And then I put a reload perk on it. I put standard perks on this simply so that I can compare this to every weapon that I've known before. We can get into fun loadouts in the second part of this video. I kind of want to run the double crit damage. Uh, totally rocking out, Bill. We'll have some fun. We'll have some fun. But I want boring build right now with Blast from the Past, just so I can compare it to what I already know in this game. And the six perks. Damage dealt to enemies below 15% immediately eliminate. Them. that is the big one that i want to know that means every enemy you attack with this weapon you are essentially playing a different game when you're running a weapon with this six perk every weapon in the or every enemy in the game essentially has 85 percent of their total health it is awesome to think that you could be running up on a smasher or a miss monster that your teammate is dealing with and you can just delete them from existence if they're a low enough health that is very interesting then we also have the six perk where each hit applies a stack of slowing when an enemy reaches 10 stacks they're frozen for three seconds so you're basically just slowing them down to a freeze with every single hit so that can be really really useful you basically have zenith built into your weapon and then finally it's kind of the the, the ugly duckling of the six perks if this weapon hits an enemy your shield is replenished for three percent of damage out you gain shields for eight seconds i have never seen shield perks to be impressive you guys know i'd prefer to either be doing damage which makes me very very happy about my six perk i am not taking this for granted or slowed and snared which can be a very nice utility perk this might not apply any damage but you can uh slow people down that and before you even tell me ice queen exists yes i know she can give you that 14 percent extra damage to a frozen enemy uh that's not a lot that's one of the lowest support perks in the game so yeah speaking of support perks let's talk about the build we're using like i said cookie cutter Ramirez in the lead, Blast in the Past. It's the same build I've been using for years and years. I just want this to be as standard to my memory as possible. Then we can have some fun afterwards. So yeah, let's just hop in game and check it out. 
All right, so as this is my very first experience with this weapon, I'm not going to be an expert, and my opinions on this might change as we go along. So, hit fire. Let me just see it. Okay, so that's actually a really slow fire rate, but really decent damage. Oh, yeah, we got the Ben's War Cry hyping it up. This is... I don't know. I like it. See, this is what I said, where I don't think damage per second is exactly the right measurement for this weapon, because... It's more of a very ammo-efficient weapon. You'll note that this is not... Oh, that is very slow. Oh, good lord. That is super, super slow. And it doesn't do more damage when it's aimed in, but it's extremely accurate. It. I can understand now why it's accurate enough when you're hip-firing. This is also why I ran Assault Ammo Recovery, uh, because I, I knew 16 shot. Look at it shred! Remember, anything under 15% uh, health is just dead immediately. So... That's kind of awesome. I want to get a bigger target to definitely test that with, and bigger target we shall get. Was that a body shot non-crit? Okay. So. Oh, man, it's weird, because when it's under 15%, it's almost always going to die to your damage anyway. So, uh, so far, I'm liking it, and this is where the range really comes in. That fire rate is, is bad. That, uh, that is really bad. What's the range on this weapon, by the way? 4,096. That's pretty standard. Um... Ooh, okay. This weapon gives you a lot of precision, which I personally very much value. I have a long history in FPS games, and precision is nice. But I also want to mention, as I was saying earlier, um, we are in, in, a, uh, in a healing death burst and death bomb mission. That is going to make this weapon look a little worse than it might otherwise normally, so just keep that in mind. So I must have wondered to myself, what's the worst I could make this weapon look? Oh, let me just run into the storm and take on a crowd of enemies. Exactly what this weapon is not designed to do. Because one of the uh, pistols in this game, I'm going to steal this footage from Discord, thank you to this user, is kind of insane. It's the pistol that is not officially released, like it's in the Ventures season lineup, but it's not in the shop yet as a recording. It looks awesome and is definitely designed to be paired with this weapon. So I feel like this weapon is definitely intended to be high single target damage. That's why I said DPS is a little bit of a weird measurement because uh, you can use this weapon to easily take out maybe a taker as you're seeing there and then you can use the pistol to just eliminate the large crowd of enemies. I need to resist the urge to reload after every shot and I think focusing on a single target is the best way to get around the healing death burst because that's a problem and it doesn't seem like it's eliminating enemies at that 15% mark. Ugh. I'm having a hard time. So that's definitely 15%, right? Okay. Yeah, again, though, 15% is so low that usually they're dead by then anyway. Like, 15% of a baby huskling is death, no matter what. So maybe that's going to be more useful against a smasher? Let me see if I can try and find one. All right, so it's not a smasher, but I got an encampment over here. Let me just uh, focus on a big target. All right, 15% should just die. Okay, all right, I can kind of see it. Wonder if that works on the Storm King, huh? Ah, it's interesting because this is one of the reasons I debated against running a crit build. Like, I, I still think a crit build's probably what you want. Like, okay, that's definitely not working. That is definitely a non-functional perk. I, I know I'm eyeballing it, but if, if that wasn't 15% of its health remaining, then I don't know what was. So, I don't think we're going to get the full experience of this weapon. I'm not personally shocked i'm not trying to talk any smack here but epic does in fact have a history of things not working on release so i'm just suggesting we might take that with a grain of salt all right we got a couple of big targets here real quick uh could not find a smasher but this is what i really want to see see this is where the the weapon okay yeah no they should definitely be dead that's the that's a dead six perk right there but this is where the weapon can really shine that single target damage and i so bad want to aim in with that that is too slow that that's that's unusably slow i feel like the aiming in needs to increase the damage and maybe it does and i misread something but yeah <laughs> this is definitely how the weapon should be used it should be paired to the weapon that can crowd clear but there are a lot of weapons in the game that can do it all and so yeah slower shots when aim down sights that's it it's just more accurate so i feel like it should get a damage bonus from that i don't know i don't really know if that's something you should be using very often all right, Cord found a smasher. I really appreciate the help. So this is why I've been running slow field lately, because I always want to showcase these weapons, and I feel like a drone is just going to steal my damage. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, it might not be the fastest smasher kill ever, but we just killed an entire smasher in, like, 30 shots. That's really ammo efficient, and I think that's one of the valuable parts of this weapon. So, yeah, I'm going to head over to the defense for real this time and trap it up a bit and get it started. 
All right, the defense begins. Uh, I think Aura brought boom base, which is great. I put down some traps down here, and this is where the range can kind of come in. But that damage, uh, the damage is great. It's just the the fire rate is 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 brutal. And people in chat are telling me this thing could be ran triple fire rate, and I love that. That that could be fun. I don't have like a ton of time for goofy builds today, um, but I want to I want to try it. I want to try it. Yeah, this is interesting because as excited as I am about this weapon, I'm not going to pretend like this is doing more damage than it is. This is kind of tough. For a weapon with no crowd clearing, it's... I don't know. It's pretty underwhelming damage. I've had a lot of people tell me exactly that, and I've wanted to form my own opinion. And I don't want to jump the gun or anything, but I did do the math on this prior, and it, it didn't blow me away. Uh, and this, this is what I'm talking about. Um, typically, for those who don't know, my mental measurement of a good weapon uh kills a smasher in one magazine that's what the if you get good with crits that's what the thrasher can do the sound specter and you know, all the top weapons that i always praise they they can kill in one hit uh, or in one magazine one magazine and this is not doing that especially since you kind of need to spray the whole time in order to do meaningful damage and that's six perks bug i think they intended for it to be the way that it is and then you can like finish them off with that last 15%. But as we can all see, that is just simply not happening. Um, like he should be dead. And uh, yeah, that's just not really the experience I'm having. And somebody in chat mentioned that maybe that only applies to like baby zombies. And that could be. But if you're only, you know, instantly killing baby zombies that are at 15% health. Well, like I said earlier, 15% of a baby zombie is dead in one shot no matter what with this weapon you know what i mean uh, it doesn't need that help anymore it's the smashers mini bosses maybe <laughs> the mist monsters where their remaining 15 percent might be less than one bullet from this thing like if this thing is doing <clears throat> 62 000 damage you can see that's enough to just body a basic zombie and they don't really need that that six perk so maybe it's just bugged maybe i'll have to revisit this in the future uh it's a pretty subtle bug and I would need a report from Epic to like, like a home base report mentioning to even know if it was fixed or maybe you guys in the comments can let me know in the future because I don't think I'll be making this a regular weapon of mine. This weapon behaves fantastic. It might remind a lot of you of the Electro Shock Rifle, which I think I have on hand. Perfect. This is a weapon that was just a reskin of the Argon Assault Rifle and I supercharged it because look at this. It's, it's like a laser gun super accurate it's it's awesome and i feel like the argon assault rifle was always like fake inaccurate where it was more of a spray and pray looking weapon i talked about this in the electro shock rifle video i'll link it down below where it it it, it just behaves better than it should it's identical to the argon assault rifle in all respects on paper but then you use it in game and it just feels amazing and that's the similar feeling i'm getting from our pulse rifle here i can't find it there we go pulse pounder so it's got a great feel it just uh i don't know it's kind of lacking kind of lacking it, it would make more sense if it did like a minor explosion per hit not even a lot of damage like 10 percent of the weapon damage explodes per hit that'd be great this amount of ammo plus the the slow fire rate would be great for this to be like a small explosion per shot and that's that's not what exists so you can see against a crowd of enemies it's, it's useless that that pistol I, I stole that clip from earlier is probably what's meant to be paired with this and on its own it's pretty fun i guess it's not bad i can't honestly say that i mean we're all seeing the same footage right like it's doing all right you know what i mean it's taking out targets i have definitely seen much stronger weapons be significantly more proficient with, than that and um i think that's about all i have to say about that ironically or unfortunately we still have half the mission yet to go here so yeah i'll just talk to chat i guess and uh See what they're thinking. Love the feel of the weapon. I do too, Manual. I think the weapon looks great. The aesthetic's fantastic. That much is, is definitely, uh, you know. It's funny. I choose uh, definitely a plus for this weapon. And it's funny that I choose my words so carefully. And then I glance at chat and Deathlow just said, Rifle looks like shit. <laughs> looks shit. <laughs> Not like shit. So he's just straight up. You know, commenters are brutal. I know how you guys tend to be. It's, uh... 
You're not going to hold back. If you think a weapon looks bad, you're just going to let me know. And that's why I was trying to uh, temper my opinions. I wanted to see the first time with my weapon on my own. I didn't want to take anybody's opinion as truth. And you can see, against a single target, it does really okay. Uh, even hip fire, as they intended for this weapon to be used. It's doing pretty well. Of course, that taker should have been dead. Oh, yeah, we got the Ben's War Cry getting things moving. I dig it. I dig it. And it's a smoke screen mini boss. So, we're not going to be able to see how this thing performs on a mini boss, but um, I guess I can just rock a minigun real quick here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that damage. Minigun, all headshots. This is why I started bringing slow field. Oh, isn't it just beautiful? Isn't that just exactly what you like to see? Oh, wow, that wasn't even half his health. That's. Kind of disappointing, not going to lie. I'm just going to go bully the enemies out here because, um, you know what? You know what? I'm just going to take out the mini-boss. Let's see here. We got the uh, Ravager. There we go. Crypt build. I uh, used this in my uh, best no loadout video recently. There you go. Link to that down below. Ninja loadout. Turns out Assassin Sarah, way better than I ever thought. Wow, that's 3.5 million. Ravager is kind of insane. You don't even need a loadout, and it just takes care of mini bosses. Super easy, barely inconvenience. To those who don't know, a little hot tip for you. Mini bosses that are smokescreen can't have an element. So that's why I always keep a physical Ravager on hand. It's specifically for them. You will do crazy amounts of damage, as you just saw. Yes, that was a completely casual 3.5 million from a sword. And I am not running a sword build. That's gorgeous and uh just for the few commenters who are thinking the same way i am yes i am as annoyed about my full inventory as you are let me just uh yeah make that a little bit more comfortable still in the red but uh, that's a problem for another day we can take care of that no problem you need to get the ravenger well i'm not sure what the ravenger is but the ravenger is pretty strong yeah that six perk is not functioning on mist monsters and even if it's not intended to function on mist monsters um it needs to the six perk will be absolutely useless if it doesn't work on miss monsters so i will report that to epic even if they already know i'm gonna let them know like hey your debut weapon doesn't work or at least the six perk doesn't and uh that's kind of a problem i really hope somebody in chat can offer me like a if anybody in chat i'm giving this open invite on on youtube here if anybody in the stream chat today has a like slow to freeze version i would love to check that out um I'll give you the perks if you have the schematic. Let me know. Uh, I, I might even Cory perk mine if nobody puts their head up because I will Cory perk the dead perk off of this. I've got uh, 17 of them myself. That might actually be the less friction way to go. I don't want to immediately retract my offer for somebody to give me one of their weapons, but um, that might be easier because I know people like to help out. They'll get to be shouted out in the video. It's a fun thing for everybody, but it would save time and complications if I just Cory perked it because. Yeah, you got the freeze one? I think if you got the freeze one, you got the best perk right now. So, definitely uh, props to you. I thought I got lucky with the 15%, but until it's functioning, I'm not really sure. I'm going to be very optimistic about that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to call this mission a little early. I'll see you guys at the next loadout, and uh, we'll check in then. All right, so round two is going to be very fun. We got a couple of things changing here. First and foremost, that crit rating perk is going to become crit damage. He's got a slowed and snared or damage to slowed and snared copy for that six perk because the uh, six perk is going to be applying stacks of slow, which, as we understand it, is slowed and snared. I don't know what slow is in Fortnite. Slowed and snared is what we're aware of, but... I'm pretty sure that affects it. And Archer, let me know a little bug that's going on. Apparently, when you're holding this weapon, everything is affected by that six perk. We're going to check that out quickly with a drone and some traps. And uh, that's going to be very fun. And I'm not sure if this is the greatest pairing with the slow version, but I'm going to be running Totally Rocking Out. You know I got to because Sledgehammer and Totally Rocking Out is going to completely annihilate enemies faster than that slowed effect could even take place. But I'm just trying to have fun and I don't have a ton of time. So bear with me. Sl Sledgehammer in the lead, Rocking Out, Battle Beat fumble assault damage and support assault and recovery because we only have 16 shots like before and i'm trying resident frequency because we are locked energy so 20 percent more damage should be perfectly fine and keeping my shields up is something i'm notoriously bad at but we're gonna try it anyway so yeah we're gonna hop in game and check it out Woo! thank you so much let's check this thing out so as mentioned here we go uh yeah double crit damage reload a slowed and snared let's check it out okay so archie told me to throw a drone and hold the weapon so Let's just see where it goes. Oh my god, it really does. It just freezes the enemies. And they all get the uh, the shackles on their feet, just like they would normally from the slowed and snare. That is a lot of damage. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, so obviously I need to activate Totally Rockin' Out in order to be, you know, using Totally Rockin' Out. But this is gonna be silly. <laughs> Alright, well, I got an encampment over here that I can bully. Can I just, like, active immediately activate Totally Rockin' Out? Yeah, and, and then I just kill the nurse instantly. Yeah, that's about how that goes. So I've been, what the hell is that? What, 
What? What? <laughs> I think the shackles just went across the map. So I've been ignoring these large crowds of enemies because as we already know, this weapon cannot do any group damage. It is completely useless against them, but I really want to find a smasher. So I'm going to keep looking around and see if I can get one. All right, the boys are bullying a smasher. So let's just do the drone thing again and just watch it get frozen. Yeah, basically just, okay, frozen forever. I, uh, I'm not going to have any totally rocking out active, but it kind of doesn't matter. Uh, just going to crit whenever I crit at my own leisurely pace. Oh, this is great. This is so dumb. <laughs> this is totally bugged and I'm totally okay with it. I'm going to, it's funny. The one perk doesn't work on miss monsters. Whether or not it's a bug, I think it's stupid. And then the other perk is so bugged that it's honestly just fun for the time being. You know, this is a, I, I want to say this is a weird day, but this is just kind of how updates go nowadays. <laughs> All right, round two began. We got quite a few traps going on here. So I put down tire traps at Archer's recommendation, which makes sense to me because you want to hit enemies 10 times and it looks exactly like I expected. They just get frozen constantly. Now we got some enemies down here. I didn't put any tire traps down here, but you can see the, uh, yeah, the Ben's war cry hyping us up. The, uh, the ceiling electric fields are just zapping them and slowing them down bit by bit. It is honestly just broken and then we got a smasher and because i'm not killing that many enemies you can see the totally rocking out is active but not that much uh, they're mostly just getting frozen and installed not really my play style but it's definitely working see i'm just gonna hit a little football right here see what kind of damage we can do and it's not that impressive even with the slowed and snare double crit damage it's uh yeah kind of kind of a letdown uh we could double check the perks on this thing it is uh yeah double crit damage so not sure what to think about this weapon, to be honest. Let me just throw a drone, stun everything around me. It's just so weird how that works, but I'm kind of digging it at the same time. I got to say, these are at least interesting weapons. Uh, I'm glad that they didn't just add the regular kind of point and click weapons that we would have expected. There are at least some interesting mechanics with these six perks, and uh, I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging it. I just wish it did more damage really uh people have been recommending fire rate a lot on this weapon for obvious reasons but in order to run fire rate on this build you need to not have crits which is fine i mean the world doesn't need crits but they are kind of the top recommended almost every time for a reason and if you're not going to be hitting your hitting your crits then you're just shooting faster uh burning through ammo which is maybe okay because it's already as i've been mentioning a pretty ammo efficient weapon but you can see that damage right there this is with critting like this is with sledge in the lead uh, double crit damage it's uh pretty good damage but not enough and uh i don't know i don't know nothing's even getting remotely close though when every single trap is on top of doing the normal damage that a trap does slowing enemies down it's um <laughs> this, this mission's kind of a joke like this is not even difficult uh here we go uh i'm gonna do i want to set up one thing so let's do this I got my ramp down here as well. So we can just do this one just like that, just like that. Then we're gonna bring this just like there. Ugh. All right, and then Would we can- Would you like me to explain the freezing thing? Do you want to explain the freezing thing? So the the, the six perk is on hit, uh, they do the slow and snare, but in the six perk file, they forgot to make it where it's exclusive to the weapon. So it's just every damage source coming from the player when you hold it. And you also mentioned that the 15% is specifically not supposed to affect Miss Monsters. Yeah, it's not supposed to affect Do you think that's fair? Monsters. Yeah, uh, because it, it would be a little crazy if you could just, like, get a Smasher 15% health and then, like, instantly one-hit it. With, well, uh, yeah. This weapon doesn't even need that on regular zombies because most enemies don't survive 15% from one hit from this weapon. I don't know. It's weird that they that they accidentally forgot to exclude flingers from that, though. Yeah, let me try that out right now, because I need to take care of some flingers, and I am... There we go. We got one over here. So, I want to see this 15% actually do something. I mean, honestly, they're already so low, I can't even tell. <laughs> I can't even tell. I thought crit builds might be funny, because if you crit on that last shot, then it would do as much damage as, like, an insta-kill would have done anyway. 15% remaining is not that much, but... It's kind of neat, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to think of this weapon. I think the real star of the new six perks is the freezing one for sure. I think so too. That's definitely neat. It's a little busted when all of your traps are slowing everything down. So they'll surely fix that. 
the AR might not be the one for the freezing. Um, as you mentioned, I think the SMG might be a bit better for yeah, that. It, it's kind of ridiculous. Whenever he tries the SMG, guys, it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, so I'm trying to post a new video on this weapon set every day. Maybe the best perks for this will follow tomorrow um, after this video goes out. But the SMG is definitely close on my list. And even as I'm recording this, it's on a Tuesday. So Wednesday, I plan to do a big stream. Uh, as you're watching this on the day of upload, I should probably be live. And uh, you can check out the Twitch link down below. You can follow notifications for when I do go live because I will be all about these weapons for a while, obviously. Uh, you know, Fortnite Save the World YouTuber gets something new and interesting for the first time in a while. And uh, yeah, because even when we get new heroes, it's like the animal heroes, which are just bad. They're just so bad. Yeah, I don't know. You say the 15%'s not applying to the... You say it is applying to the flingers? Because I'm not... I don't think you're using the weapon. I oh, that's right. I already have the six perk. Oh, my God. Too many things going on today. And, and like I said, it doesn't even really matter. Because 15% on a flinger is not that much. They don't have that much health. So it doesn't really make a difference. Here I am waiting for a perk to take place. I don't even have it on. All right, here we go. We got a fire mini boss. This is what I want to see. So I'm assuming you can't slow and stare at mini Oh, you can. Okay, but you can't yeah, you freeze can. him. Can't freeze him. Oh, this is not impressive. So if I just throw, we got slow field and drones. He's never going to stop moving. He's, he's, well, I guess he, he's never going to uh, speed up. I should say this is, um, not the new top mini boss killer. That's, that's for sure. I know, I know I barely have totally rocking out active, right? But like, even when it is active, it's not, it's like, it's doing a quarter million per shot, but it's shooting too slow for that to really matter. Do you know if the sheet number, Archer, is the, uh, the, the hip fire speed, or is that the normal speed, like, zoomed in? Uh, I have no idea. The, the sheet number for it is bizarre because of that extra firing mode. I can't figure it out. Because, like, this feels like three shots a second, maybe. Yeah, when you zoom in, it's almost like once every other second. I don't know, that felt slow. Editing Beast might time it, but I don't think that's a anything to go by. I don't like eyeballing stuff like that. For people wondering, yes, this technically works from the Storm King, but the Storm King is uh, excluded from all, like, uh, the elemental types like this. So, in theory, yes, you can freeze the Storm King, but the game's coding does not let you. That's unfortunate. Somebody recommended smoke bombs on the Storm King to slow and snare him, which I guess works, but I don't... I don't know how much that would help you, to be honest. You know what? I think I'm far enough in with gameplay to have an opinion, and I am cautiously underwhelmed. This weapon is just not enough to compete in the highest zones. This cannot be your primary weapon. The sixth perks are very interesting, and the SMG slash the pistol, like that exploding BFG-style pistol, looks really interesting. I cannot wait to try that out. Not in Ventures! I cannot wait to buy it from the shop and, and give that a go, because that seems really, really, really cool. Uh, as for the AR, though, I think this might not be the most exciting one. Although the sniper, the sniper's scary. I know, Ben's Warcry is trying to change my mind here, but I, I don't know. Hey, look at this. I'm struggling against the crowd. If I was testing any weapon that didn't just come out, I'd be... I'd be slamming that weapon right now. <laughs> like, you guys remember the Mercury LMG video. I, I had to switch the Scourge just to not lose the mission. And this is no different. Like, this is not pulling its weight right now. And I'm not really sure it can be, you know, I, I'm not really sure that can be ignored. So, yeah. Pulse Pounder. Interesting weapon. Probably not a top pick. If I was just going to say off my first opinions here on day of launch, maybe this will change in the future. Maybe I'd put this in like the uh, weapon merit on its own. Six perks not applied. Maybe a C tier because it's got great single target, but not good enough. But with the six perks functioning the way I believe they should, maybe a B tier, but functioning the way they seem to be functioning and that seems to be intended. Uh, it's like a C, low C tier weapon, and that's that's kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. Comment what you thought. Comment what you guys want to see. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very excited about the new set. I want to cover them all, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs>